Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today, guys, we're back in the NBA 2K21. I hope you guys are having a great day and everything is going well for you guys. Today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can build James Harden here in NBA 2K21. So, you guys, we're gonna be making this build here a shooting guard. I'm gonna go left handed, jersey number 13, again, hand in this jersey number. Really doesn't matter. You can go ahead and pick whatever you want for that, guys. But we're gonna be making this build here a two guard. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Now, when it comes to this build, guys, James Harden is 6'5, he's around 220, he's got a 6'11 wingspan, body shape, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go with the fine. You can pick whatever you want, but we're gonna go 6'5, 220, and it's 6'11. 11 wingspan guys and go ahead and hit continue now i am going to go ahead and max out this speed and excel all the way you don't necessarily have to stamina i'm going to take up to a 91 this ball handle too you at least want this at an 80 so you're hitting pro dribbles you can go higher if you want um that just kind of comes down to how you want to do that um, but I just here, oh, I'm going to bump this uh, pass accuracy here to a 76, and then ball handle, I'll throw it to an 81, so we're going to get 11 playmaking badges. And then this driving dunk, I at least want at an 85. Alright guys, so I think this is what I'm going to go with here for this hard build. We're going to have 11, 21, 11, and 9. Now for this build, we have the most shooting badges. You can kind of tweak it a little bit if you want, but I feel like really this is a good split. Now you can maybe take this close shot down and spend this on like post control and uh, driving layup, and then you're going to get 13, which is a few more. Um, Again, you can kind of tweak this around. Um, to get the most amount of badges, you're gonna want to play it that way. But I feel like really this is a good split. I feel like this is you know easy. It's this is more than enough for a lot of these. Now actually, I'm gonna take this down. See if we can maybe get a few more playmaking badges. Again, this is just gonna you know a little bit of tweaking. Then I can still keep nine defensive badges and then spend this here. Um, that's gonna give me 12. Otherwise, I can see if I can spend it on pass accuracy. That's still gonna give me 12. So it doesn't really matter where I put it. But I'll probably just end up leaving it like this. And then this last point, I'm just gonna have to spend here. But then we're gonna here finish with 13, 21, 12 and nine guys now for these takeovers you can pick whatever you want but i'm gonna go ahead and give harden i'm probably gonna go with pull up position here and then i'm gonna go with finishing move for these two takeovers guys and here for this build we are gonna be getting a two-way scoring machine now here for our shades of we're gonna be getting paul george clay thompson and zach Levine. but overall i think this build is pretty similar to harden but when it comes to these badges here guys again kind of tweak these towards your play style everyone's a little bit different for these defensive badges i would say go clamps definitely i would use chase on artist and rib protector so you can get those leaping animations now i'm going to end up throwing pick dodger on here you don't necessarily have to use that but i would use off ball pest trapper too just so you can help force more on ball pickups so i'm going to go with these guys and go with these badges here for these defensive badges for these playmaking badges i'm going to go and throw handles for days here on hall of fame bail out on bronze ankle breaker up to gold and then i'm going to put quick first step here on gold and then just put space creator here on bronze and go with these for the playmaking badges for these finishing badges i'm gonna go to put posterizer here on the hall of fame um i'm gonna put lob city finisher on bronze just so we don't bobble lob but i'm gonna throw fearless finisher here up to hall of fame and then i'm gonna put slithery here on silver and then protect on silver and go with these guys now for these shooting badges i'm gonna go to put deep threes on hall of fame difficult shots on hall of fame circus threes on hall of fame then i'll throw up the gold you can use catch and corner if you want i don't think you need it for this build though and then i'm gonna go ahead and actually put dead eye on hall of fame blinders i'll throw up the gold and then you can really with the rest of these put these wherever you want i'm just gonna put it on the volume shooter but i'm gonna leave these badges like this and use these for my shooting badges guys but this is how i feel like you can build this james harden build here in nba 2k21 if you guys are in the channel please subscribe for more nba 2k21 builds but anyway guys it's been king clutch here hopefully you guys enjoyed the video anyways have a great day and peace out guys thanks